let's take a look at the sine and cosine ratios and using them to calculate angles. Okay, just to review the sides of a triangle, remember we always look from an angle. We look from that angle right there. Now the longest side of a triangle is always the hypotenuse. Just as a reminder, that right angle looks at the hypotenuse, or points to that hypotenuse. The next, on the far side from the angle we're looking from, is my opposite side. It's opposite the angle we're looking from. And the one beside it is my adjacent side. Previously we talked about tan. Tan of theta was the opposite side divided by the adjacent side. So when we look at the other two, we're going to look at the sine ratio and the cosine ratio. Sine of theta equals the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse. Although we can shorten that up, you don't need to write out the full thing every time. We'll write it as sine of theta equals opposite over hypotenuse. If I look at the other formula, our other one is cosine of theta, and it is the ratio of the adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse. And short form of that would be cos of theta equals adjacent over hypotenuse. These three are known as our primary trig ratios. Okay, let's look at an easy way to remember these. Sokotoa is a little mnemonic that helps you remember what each of these are. Sine of theta is opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine of theta is adjacent over hypotenuse. And tan of theta equals opposite over adjacent. It's just a little tool to help you remember the three basic trig functions. You should write this at the top of every page where you're doing or using sine, cos, and tan. Soka toa. It's right there, it's quick, and it's easy, and it'll help keep you from getting confused. All right, let's look at an example. Let's find the measures of angles D and F. We'll do it one at a time, so we're going to treat this like two separate questions. The first thing we're going to do is we'll start with one of the angles. In this case, I'm going to start with angle D. Once I know that's the angle I'm looking from, I need to label my sides. The far side of that triangle from the angle is my opposite side. The longest side of the triangle is my hypotenuse. Once again, this right angle points at it. And then that leaves my adjacent side. That's the one that's beside the angle I'm looking from. But it's not my hypotenuse. Now when I'm looking at this, I know my hypotenuse, I know my opposite, I don't know my adjacent side. And I'm not asked to find it. All I'm asked for is that angle. So for this question, that adjacent side doesn't really matter. And that's important because it helps us figure out which ratio we want to use. Now a minute ago, I went through Soka Toa. This is important because we are going to use this to decide which ratio we're going to use to solve for angle D. You'll notice over here that we're not using the adjacent side. So any ratio that has the adjacent side in it is actually quite useless to us. So I need to look through my ratios. Anything that's got adjacent, let's cross it out. Well, cosine has adjacent, that's useless to us. Tan has adjacent, that's useless to us, leaves us sine. So we must have to use sine to solve this question. All right, so let's write our formula down. Sine of theta equals opposite over hypotenuse. Put in what I know. Now I don't know my angle. I'm just going to say sine of capital D, capitals four angles, small letters for sides. My opposite side is five centimeters, and my hypotenuse is 13 centimeters. From here, we're going to use our calculator. We're not going to bother with the trig tables. We'll use the one in the calculator. And it works exactly the same as tan, except now we're going to use the sine button instead. So first step, I'm going to take five and divide it by 13. Five divided by 13 equals, ooh, lots of numbers there. Let's write that down. Sine of D equals, we'll keep four decimal places on this, 0 0.3846. Now I know my sine ratio. I need to work backwards to find my angle. Okay? So basically I'm saying sine of what will give me 0.3846. So in order to do that, I'm going to do the inverse sine. Write that as sine to the negative 1 of 0 0.3846. 3846. Pull out our calculator. I'm in degree mode. That's all good. Trigonometry. Second function. I want to do second function sine. Look at that. 22.619 degrees. Let's write that down as 23 degrees. 
angle D equals 23 degrees. There's my angle. Now let's go and find angle F. I'm going to be looking from a different angle this time, so I'm going to have to relabel those sides. You'll notice I made a new copy of the triangle. And I've cleared off Sokoto at the top of the page. That matters because now I'm looking from a different angle than I was last time. My side names are going to change, or at least two of them are. So now I'm looking from that angle right there. The right angle still points at the hypotenuse. The side of the triangle from the far side of my angle is my opposite side. Notice how the opposite is a different side than it was when we did angle D. And that's because we're looking from a different angle. And then that last side that's beside angle F, that's my adjacent side. So if I want to find angle F, I now have to figure out which trig ratio I'm going to use. When I look at my triangle, I notice I don't know my opposite side. I don't know it, and I'm not asked to find it, so I'm going to ignore it. What that means is I can ignore any trig ratio that doesn't use the opposite side. Sine, well, that uses the opposite side, so that's not helpful to us. Cos doesn't use the opposite side. Tan does, uses the opposite side, so it's useless to us. We are going to use the cosine ratio, and let's write that down. Cos of theta equals adjacent over hypotenuse. Let's put in what we know. Cos, I don't know my angle, so I'm just going to say cos of capital F equals my adjacent side, which is 5 centimeters, divided by my hypotenuse, which is 13 centimeters. Let's pull up our calculator and work that through. 5 divided by 13 equals 0.3846. Wait a minute. That's exactly the same as my sine ratio was. But you'll notice when we go and use the second function cos, that ratio will give us a different angle because it's looking on the cos section of the tables and not the sine section of the tables. When I do f equals the inverse cos, so that's the cos of negative 1, of 0 0.3846. Let's check that on the calculator. So let's check that out on the calculator. I still have my ratio on there, so I'm going to go trig second function cos. See, I've got that cos negative 1. Angle F equals 67.38 degrees. Let's round that off to the nearest degree. Angle F equals 67 degrees. And there is my angle F. Now I want to take a quick moment. There was a faster way you could have figured out that second angle. But I wanted to show you cos. So now I'm going to show you the faster way. We knew that this angle right here was a 90 degree angle. We calculated that angle, angle D, to be 23 degrees. All the angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So I could have taken that 90 degree angle, that 23 degree angle, subtracted them both from 180 degrees, and I would have ended up right back here at that 67 degrees. So sometimes there are smarter ways to do the same question. All right, let's do one last question here. Find the measure of angle theta. Before we go to start answering this question, let's write Sokoto on the top of our page. And then let's label our sides. This is the angle I'm looking from. So my right angle points at this side right here. That's my hypotenuse. The angle I'm looking from, the far side of the triangle is over here. So that's my opposite side. And that last leg that's left over is my adjacent. Take a look at which two sides I'm going to use. I know my hypotenuse. I know my opposite. I don't know my adjacent. And I'm not asked to find my adjacent. So right now it's useless to me. What that also means is any trig ratio with adjacent in it isn't useful to me right now. Cosine has adjacent. I don't need it. Tan has adjacent. I don't need it. That leaves me with sine. So I'm going to write my formula down. Sine of theta equals opposite over hypotenuse. Let's put in what we know. I don't know my angle, so I'm going to leave that as theta. I do know my opposite side and that is 3 inches. I do know my hypotenuse, that goes in the bottom, that's 17 inches, and now I'm going to do some calculating. So, 3 divided by 17 equals 0 0.17647. Let's round that off to sine of theta equals 0 0.1765. My next step, I'm going to do the inverse sine, so second function sine for most of you. Sine 
the negative one of 0 0.1765. Pull up my calculator, trig, I'm gonna go second function sine, and I've got a 10.16 degree angle. Let's round that off to being 10 degrees. And there is how you find an angle if you're given two of the sides.